<clears throat> okay, welcome. Today we are going to build a pocket sun clock. And you can download your own paper version of this activity from tinyurl.com, Schatz Sun Clock. And Dennis Schatz is the man who, one of the men who originally developed this, and you're downloading it from the Pacific Science Center. The sun clock comes as a series of cards that look like this. There's actually three of them here. They're intended for the southern part of the United States, of the lower 50, the middle part of the United States, the continental part, below Canada, and contiguous. And this is for the upper part. For where we are in Buffalo, New York, either this one or this one will work. Now you might say, why do I have three clocks? Where do I need them for? And, and how are they different? <clears throat> in particular, if you look at these three clocks, you will see that they are all a little over 13 centimeters long, 13.3 centimeters long. But this one here has a distance down to a fold of five and a half centimeters. So this is short and this is much longer. The middle one, for middle latitudes, has a six centimeter upper part and a shorter bottom part. The northernmost one has a 6.6 .6 centimeter upper part and what looks like about a 6.8 or 6.9, these are almost the same size. So the angle will be changing for these. We'll be making a triangle where this is one side, this is the other, and a string will be the third side. And these will all have different lengths of string. So there'll be different angles at the bottom and at the top. And the middle angle near this fold will all be 90 degrees. Okay, so let's make our clock. We, do, we start off with a file folder. This is a used file folder. We only need half of the file folder for this particular activity. We will need a glue stick to glue the clock to the file folder material. We're only going to make the two most northernly clocks. So we're going to make this one and this one. We're not going to make this one. So the first thing we do is we get lots of glue on the back of the clocks. Make sure they stick really well. Put the glue away. Take the clocks out, and we're going to stick them down. So there are our clocks now stuck to the file folder. So now we'll start to cut them out. First thing I will do is I will crudely cut them out. And it turns out that, that I missed some glue there. So I'll put a little extra glue on it. I will use my scrap here. And get some extra glue in there. There we go, much better.
Now we're going to add string to this, so we'll cut ourselves a couple of pieces of string. You need about seven centimeters, so about that much. Too much is better than too little at this point. So we have two pieces of string. The string will stretch from here to here and from here to here. So we need to cut a little slot to put the string in. And that's two. Now we want to fold the clocks. To fold the clocks, we're going to put this ruler down and then lift them up and fold them against the ruler. And although we're going to use them, fold it to 90 degrees, we're going to fold them all the way over to make a good seam. Make a nice crisp fold if you can. Then we're going to put the string in. String will go in and go down. We will tape it. one end of the string taped. Then we have to make sure that the clock is at 90 degrees. So we will take the ruler in, stand the edge of the clock up to 90 degrees, and make sure the other string is tight. And that's where we're gonna tape the other string. Now I have a tape there, I have a clock here, I have a taped here again. And when it's stretched out, the string should be at 90 degrees. So that's one clock. Let's do the other clock. Ooh, I don't think that's my right piece. No, that is my right piece of string. So I'll put in the top piece first. Pull it through. Tape it down. Top piece. Bottom piece. And then I have to make sure it's at 90 degrees. See, that's not at 90 degrees. But by putting the ruler in, I can get 90 degrees. Perfect. Like that. See? Now it's at 90 degrees. Now I'm going to take that a little bit. And in this case, I have quite a bit of leftover string on this side. I take that in short. So I'm actually going to cut the string again. So I don't have too much of it dangling around. And that's how you make your sun clocks. You got two sun clocks. They're both northern hemisphere. Well, actually, one is middle hemisphere and the other is northern hemisphere. And we will take them out and try them up later on. Thanks for your time.